what I want to start off doing is uh, kind of taking off some of the weight, some of the bulk. Obviously, my boy Rob here has very gnarly beard. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to try to tame it a little bit, you know? Us barbers, we know, you know, what clips cut how much hair, right? That's essentially how to cut hair, right? But for the everyday uh, person, you know, they're not a professional barber, but you can look like you just got a haircut. So what we're gonna do is just be safe and uh, use your PT45 and the clips that it comes with um, and the additional clips that, it, that they have and just kind of work your way down. So obviously we're gonna go with his length. Uh, you might have the same, longer, shorter, whatever. So the great thing about these clips are is the way that they're shaped, uh, they can like ride the shape of your face. You start off at the cheekbone and you kind of go down. And the reason why I'm saying that is a lot of people have it really high, the beard. Some people have it lower. It, obviously, you just go with, depends on what you have. Um, but with my boy Rob here, we're going down. And you listen. And you listen. And, and it's literally, you know, you want if you want to cut a little bit more, we go with another clip or if trying to be as safe as possible. Keep the same clip and you kind of move with, the, with the, um, the shape of it. So this one is closer to the face and to the beard. This one is more, and that's kind of like to keep the safe spot, right? So you want to keep it like this and you go down. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start with the highest guards and work our way down. So this is a number eight. This is kind of just to take off the bulk, some of the weight of the beard. Now again, it depends if you're right-handed, you're left-handed, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go and you're gonna ride the, the shape of the clipper on the side of your face. Cheekbones down and you're just going down. You're going down. So that's the number eight, we're gonna go down to a number seven, and I'm just gonna go down through all of them, right? Again, you know, I'm a barber, so I know where I can kind of skip, but what we're gonna do is just go through every single clip so you can kind of see and kind of see the movements, what you, should, what you should be doing. The shape of the clip, every, everything uh, that the PT45 and the Beard Club have done is uh, for a reason, right? Um, so the shape of the clips, now, if you can see, this side is a little smaller than the number eight, and then you keep on going down, right? Now, I'm not gonna go too, too low with the seven on here. I don't know if you noticed, I did the eight up to here on this, on this side of the beard. I did an eight, all this eight. Now, I'm gonna do a seven. And remember, just hear it, hear how much it's cutting and always comb, comb down. Cause you don't want, you know, our beard hair is very coarse, very curly and it kind of bunches up. So you kind of just keep on comb it after every time, comb it, comb it. Now I would think with number five and lower, it would kind of defeat the purpose, right? Of going lower with the, with the lower clips going down. So what I would do is with the five, everybody has this problem when their sideburns start growing up, growing a little thick. And you know, some, it depends on your preference. Some people wanna keep it thick. Some people don't wanna keep it as thick and wanna kinda blend it into the haircut. So here's the number five. And what we're gonna do is right at the bottom of the earlobe, we're gonna see how much that takes off. Now don't go too low, cause you're taking a chunk off, right? Bottom of the earlobe is a safe place. And with the five is a safe clip. Now, here's number four. <clears throat> and kind of do the same thing. Now smidge higher. Because now what you're trying to do is steps. Five, four, three, two, going up. Now this is the three. Now they're starting to get short, right? So
starting to blend in a little better right here on the side of the face by the sideburn. Now, you shouldn't hear anything going down right here. Remember, don't pass the earlobe. If you start passing the earlobe on this, you have a chance of taking a chunk out of your beard. If you do do that, there's a video to come on how to salvage your beard. Now here's a two. Now it's starting to get very short. Again, don't pass it. Now I would kind of gauge it. Now not all the way at the bottom of the earlobe because now it's going a little low. Remember steps, five, four, three, two. See that? It looks blended actually. It looks like he's, he got a haircut. Now obviously what you're doing is you're holding down your beard a little bit and you're kind of gauging. Obviously you can see with the mirror and you're gauging and you go up. It's a C motion. So you go like this. And again, these clips are made like this for a reason. So what you're doing is you're scooping and going out. Don't scoop and go in. Cause if you scoop and go in, you're going to make a line. And even barbers, we've been cutting hair for forever. You make a line, it's hard to get out. Now, the number one is like a, it's almost like a finishing tool. You do not want to go down by the earlobe with this one. The number one is probably halfway. And again, don't make a line, right? Now listen, you're, you're, just, you're just working on this. You're trying to, you know, keep clean in between haircuts. So it may happen, you know, when you come to the barber, you say, hey, I fucked up. Can you clean it up? Can you fix it? Um, but this is what you do. Now, if you can see, it's literally just cleaning up right here. Barely not touching anything, but what it is doing is kind of laying down the hairs that are right here and kind of starting the blend.